What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 34 in the fourth grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we have a number pattern, and it's asking us to continue the pattern and figure out what the next three numbers are going to be. So we're going to go ahead and tackle that. In order to do really well on a question like this, if you see it on a test, you'll need to know about patterns, not only finding them and seeing what all is going on with the sequence and numbers that they give you, but also how to extend a pattern like this. So we're going to go over what both of these ideas will look like in this question. Um, so I want to start by just thinking about what am I adding every time to get from one number to the next number here. That's usually the easiest place to start, and it's not until you get to middle and high school that they throw in um, multiplying um, or dividing. So for now, I'm just going to think about what I'm adding. So from 10 to 15, I'm adding 5. 15 to 25, I'm adding 10. 25 to 40, I'm adding 15. And 40 to 60, I'm adding 20. Now, a lot of times, and especially when you get into higher level math, you won't be able to find a pattern. Like, we won't be able to find that we're adding the same number every time. But you will be able to see that these numbers have a pattern inside them that you can really keep track of very easily. So 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. So what we're adding to the typed out numbers is actually going up by 5 every time. So that's the idea of finding the pattern. And the point of this question is that sometimes you need to find a pattern within a pattern. You need to try a couple different steps to this. But now, we need to go ahead and continue this pattern. So I'm going to say that we're adding 5 to this number here. 20 plus 5 is 25. And 60 plus 25 is going to get us 85. And of course, you'll have a calculator when you do a question or this is in the calculator active section, so you would presumably have a calculator to do a question like this. All right, so that's 85. I'm going to start by checking all of my answers and seeing which ones have 85 and which ones don't have 85. So choice A, 65, 70, 75. We were looking for 85, so choice A is out. Choice B has 85. Choice C has 85. And then choice D, 90, 120, 155. That one doesn't have 85, doesn't have the numbers that we're looking for. So let's continue this. I'm going to add 5 to the number that I'm adding every time. 25 plus 5 is 30, and 85 plus 30 is 115. We have an answer that has that. Let me just make sure that it's going to give us 150 next. So I continue the 5's pattern and get 35. I add 35 to 115, and okay, that's good. I get 150. That's what I'm looking for, and so choice C is our answer. Now again, this question, you have to look for a pattern, and then you also have to keep looking for patterns, even if you have already tried a whole bunch of different things, because we had to find a pattern within a pattern. We had to figure out that we were adding the same thing to the numbers that we were adding every time we wanted to get to the next typed number.